what we do in assistive technology is work with uh, patients and therapists to um, kind of match a patient's goals um, and their abilities uh, with technology to help them achieve their goals. So um, we're typically working with patients with spinal cord injuries or ALS or MS or other, uh, you know, um, diagnoses like br traumatic brain injury. Um, and so as an engineer, I work with the therapist and the patient to uh, kind of offset the technical burden of uh, the rehab process, especially when, when there's a lot of technology involved. Um, and also if things don't exist um, to help a patient meet their goals, then we make them. And so that's, I think that's the fun part, um, creating things that don't exist. The assistive technology program has been in existence uh, seven years at this VA and about a year into it we decided to purchase a 3D printer and we really didn't know how it was going to be used uh, uh, because 3D printers are used uh, you know in industry and in, in academia for building prototypes and things like that but what we wanted to do was actually use it to print functional devices for patients so uh, we invested in, in a nice commercial printer and uh, it took a little bit, it took about a year but once we the therapists realized what we could do for them we started um, taking um, ideas that therapists would um, kind of prototype with the patient and then 3D printing them so that there would be stronger or more reproducible um, and then we take those designs and we actually use them over and over with different patients with slight modifications. This is kind of an interesting example but um, Melissa Oliver, our program coordinator, had a patient who uh, had not great sensation or dexterity in his hands and he really only the, the ability to use one hand um, and he wanted to, to be able to, independent, to independently check his blood gl glucose so that involves opening these little pill bottles and so it's or not pill bottles but um, opening these uh, canisters which are like an old film canister and there's a bunch of strips in there and, and there, you really just have to dump them out so if you're using one hand you end up dumping out a bunch onto a table and that was a really frustrating process for the patient. So the patient's wife actually was talking with Melissa and asked if we could somehow make something so that um, he could dispense the strips like, uh, like the toothpick dispenser in a restaurant or, or a salt and pepper shaker. So what we did was, well, Melissa came to me and, and with the idea, and I'm, I, I pretty quickly came up with this simple design. It's kind of just a donut, and you place it in the in the top of the pill dis or in the glucose dispenser. It doesn't really work. <laughs> so it, it, it changed the problem. So it really, um, you know, we tried it with the patient and, and it wasn't any better. So and what we did was uh, I kind of, after that process of kind of trying it with the patient and seeing that it didn't work, we started iterating the design. And actually one of the other engineers, Seth and I, kind of started bouncing ideas back and forth. And so this, this shows our, our design progression. So um, after the first donut didn't work, I kind of beefed it up, made it into a more of a funnel, still didn't work. Um, then we ended up kind of making a, a larger funnel um, with kind of a spout on it, which did work a little bit better. We kept iterating um, until we came up with this final design, which um, it, allow, it has lips on it so the patient can use one hand to, to fit it onto the, the canister and then even pop it off once they're done. And what it allows you to do is just a simple motion side to side will, will the strips come out pretty slowly, one or two at a time. Um, and it's small, um, so it's easily carried in, in a pocket. And the patient uh, was an inpatient at the time, and we were able to try it with him over the course of about a week. And he, uh, he was successful, he liked it, and he took that original, um, that original one home with him and has been using it for probably a year now. Thank <laughs> you.